big pile of food there that we're going to turn into something. So what are we up to, Fee? I'm making potty food today. I'm making potty food for summer, so I am in charge of making sausage rolls, quiche, and I'm going to be making some cupcakes and maybe a bit of cake for myself because it's cake. So you're in you're in cooking mode today, so I am. I've got all my stuff prepared. I've got my walker so I can sit down in between because I'm gonna get knackered. I have Sam coming who's going to be a helper. Um I think it's a bit of compulsory enjoyment but, but tough shit he was bored so <laughs> Yeah and you're gonna walk us through your uh, what you're what you're cooking as you're cooking it. So we're yeah. gonna we're gonna do a bit of a uh, a bit of a come dine with me type thing. Yeah, and hopefully it won't end like most combines me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no. actually happy I might not give someone food poisoning or end up in a massive argument, so. No, so this is, what, space. <laughs> yeah, this is where the Asian in you comes out. Oh, yeah, cooking. very much so. I have to cook, and I, I had a bit of a discussion with Nick because Nick was a little bit worried about me cooking everything. So I am resisting the urge of cooking um, sausage rolls from scratch. I've got sausage rolls pre made because otherwise I'm going to kill myself because I'm a little bit tired today. I didn't sleep very well the day before yesterday, so I had about 10 hours sleep last night. So I'm both stiff and tired. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, here we go. Oh, hi! <laughs> Well, that's how you've just started it. Oh, shut up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, in that case, oh, hi. Fancy you being here. <laughs> no, so basically, I am doing all the prepping. So this is my slops bucket. And I'm doing all of the prepping of the veg and then the um, meat quiches. So I'm going to do those first while I leave my butter to um, slowly warm up. Um, so basically, I like to prepare it because then I can just chuck everything in and I don't need to worry about chopping up and stuff because there's not really much space in my fucking kitchen. No, there isn't. So you're going to chop all the veg first, get it all ready into, into bowls and yeah. then, and then I'm start cooking. To, uh, yeah, and then basically I'll start cooking. So I'm going to do the quiches first and then after I've done the quiches, I'm going to do um, some cupcakes and stuff like that. So I'm doing so all of the veg and the quiche ones first because then they can cool down. So what are you putting in the, in the quiche? So we've got a vegetarian one just in case and then we've got a normal one so in, we're doing a base of uh, onions in both and then they've got peppers um, I've got mushrooms I've got potato that I'm gonna just um, cook quickly so it's like par cooked um, and then I've got some cherry tomatoes um, and some baby spinach and some broccoli and then for the um, meaty one I've got chorizo and streaky bacon which I'm going to be cutting up and then I'm going to be putting that with some mushrooms bit of onion and then probably a pepper I think so uh, and, and chucking lots of stuff on the floor where Diesel bless his little cotton tops is going to see if he likes onion he doesn't but he's a fat bastard so he's waiting for some food it's not food time he doesn't believe us so yeah I'm cutting up the pepper to go with the onion so well actually I'll put the onion in later but, but I'm cutting up the pepper now so I've separated them all out so I know which quiche is which. I'll just chop my fingers off. Um, which quiche is which so that I can do one and set all the stuff aside because that makes life a lot easier. It's not too big. And you can almost cook those as they are almost. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you don't have to cook them beforehand. They'll, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll cook just, when you cook the well, quiche. Well, when I cook the veg, yeah, and then when they cook the quiche, they'll finish off. Yeah, because they're small. Yeah, so that's why I do the thinner version of stuff, and that's why with the vegetable one as well, I do a thinner version because you don't want it to be too overwhelming. So it's much easier to do a thinner, smaller version. Where's Dash? You know what it says. Oh, he's, yeah. Mushrooms, so do mushroom for both. So do mushroom for both. Please tell me you get that reference. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Well, sometimes I say shit to you and it just makes me feel old because you look at me in a real blank way. <laughs> I got my cat. I'm a walker. What else can a girl ask for? Diesel says he quite likes this bag. Can you have it, please? Right, so I'll do my tomatoes. Quartering them out before I put them in there. I think about halves, but sometimes I think quartering is easier, so especially for kids and you know, parties and stuff, because it just means that you don't need to worry too much about cutting anything up. It's easier to cut stuff up. So you've got to remember to peel it. Yeah, I've got to take the stuff off the outside after it's like rubber. Yeah. 
say it's a bit of a bugger but then if you peel that off smaller bits peel it off easier so you have to get to the side and then sometimes it doesn't come off as easily it comes off in streaks and then you've got to dig your nail in it to get it off uh, if you go from the end and pull slit gently you don't necessarily but it's a pain in the ass and then Again, I'll be cutting up into this button into a third because it's quite a thick bit, but then the rest of it's kind of cut into half, so it's around about, around about this size. It's really hard to cut up anyway because it's sort of falls in thirds. Well, that's why it's really good to have a sharp knife because it's got a lot. So of... it's really good for you, and it's a really healthy veg that I quite like. You can eat it raw as well. I have it in my salad. Yeah, but... I like it raw. I do. I like it raw too, actually. It's all ready to go. That's why I like it too. It's nice and big. So what I've done is I've separated out, we've got mature cheddar and we've got double no, red leicester, so stupid. And then we've got some mild cheddar, so I've measured it out for each one. I'm going to grate it up, see how much cheese there is and then um, we're going to also put some parmesan on the top and then I'm going to be making some additional cheese to us because they're friggin' amazing and Millie might just beat me up a little bit because she said you'll bitch slap me if I do too much. But that way, hopefully, it'll be a soft bitch slap. <laughs> she did actually ring up Sam and like threaten me. She was like, Mommy. Okay. So, I am cooking the stuff for the quiche. So I've got my onions and my potato in here and I've got a bit of olive oil but I'm just going to use a tiny bit of butter as well because the butter brings out the flavour. And it browns things off nicely. Yeah, so the potato and the onions are going to brown brown off a little bit and caramelise. And then once that's done, I am going to... And I've got some mixed herbs in there just to give it a bit of flavour. And then once that's done, I'm going to put the chorizo in because that will give another flavour to it. Once that chorizo is nice and uh, tasty, then I put the rest of the veg in, just to make sure that it's uh, a little bit cooked. And then the stuff that doesn't need cooking, I shall mix up all together in a bowl, and then uh, that's my quiche, my meaty quiche ready. And then I'm going to do the same for the veg, and then start on my quiche pastry, or pastry for the quiche. But yeah, just fold it all in, so then you can get the corners, and then the corners slightly meat, get rid of the excess pastry. And then you can blend it in. I think that hacks about right, so I might just need to pad up the other side. So I am rolling out my pastry to try and fill that gap. So what I need to do actually is a little bit of butter will do. In the oven, I have one for tonight. We had to use puff pastry because we don't have enough. And I've got this cage here, which I'm about to wallop in. Um, and then after that, we've got a bit spare. Um, so we're going to be having quiche tonight. We might have two quiches by the looks of it, but it was really hard to gauge because it was a different volume. And also it's kind of, it's not ideal because I've spilled a bit, but my hands were really wobbly. So hopefully they'll like it. <laughs> so I thought I'd ask them instead. Yeah. You're right. Half cooked because that's my quiche to go in. Um, but yeah, this is my pastry half cooked. So you're still going, it's like, uh, what, half five? No, uh, six o'clock. Quarter to six, so that's been going six. since. All day, because we got yeah, up at you. Well, I woke up at eight, yeah. and I've been going since then. Yeah. So, so without the chocolate, looks good. I get to lick the chocolate off later, huh? Ah, that's fine. You know what, I was going to say that earlier, and then I stopped myself. So, so I did chill. Let, 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 let's have a look, yeah, at, what, let's have a look at what's been cooked. So you've done, a, you've done a chocolate cake, and there's a quiche for our dinner tonight, which I'm really looking forward to. There's another one for tonight. Under there is two big ones ready for the party. They're going to go in the freezer later. So um, they're ready for the party. They'll be fresh for the party. So yeah, so she's been very, very busy. Because I'm bloody, I get knackered so easily these days, and I just need that. Yeah, need this now. So you need to move. Yeah. So, yeah. Right, so tell it goes and you're like, oh, okay. Honestly, 